I wanted to show you how to make a very simple bread recipe today. It's a spelt bread recipe and um, yes, I do eat bread myself from time to time but I only ever really do the spelt bread because the gluten in spelt is a much softer gluten than in uh, other grains and whereas those aren't really uh, altered by the cooking process, um, the gluten in spelt is and so it's much softer on the digestive system. And I thought uh, uh, it's such a simple exercise that I, I'm going to let Cassie demonstrate it. So you need two of those, they're 500 grams each. You need salt, uh, you need water, and I'll go through the amounts um, shortly. Uh, and then this is yeast. So you need a packet of yeast, of dry yeast, uh, and that will work for uh, one packet for two bags of flour. Are your hands clean? Yes, yeah, so I'll ask them, ma'am. Okay. To begin, uh, and we need to put two teaspoons of salt into uh, the cup. I've just boiled the kettle, so I'm just going to pour half of this cup in. Cassie, you're going to stir it, sure. just to dissolve the salt. And then we'll add some um, cool water to that, so that it's just lukewarm when it goes in. And then we're just going to throw this bag of yeast into the flour. Cassie, what you need to do is just fill that to the top with drinking water. So we've got a 250 ml cup of lukewarm water that's got two teaspoons of salt dissolved in it. And then uh, we've got a 500 ml uh, jug of water here. So as she's, as she's going and she's mixing it, I'm just going to pour the water in so that eventually it, um, it's all in. Okay, so that's all the plain water in. So you've got to mix the salt water in thoroughly with the rest of it. It's quite a sticky ball. Okay, I throw some olive oil into the... Because this is where it's, it's going to sit in this uh, bowl and start rising for the next few hours. I just pour olive oil into the bowl so that it doesn't stick to the side. We'll put a cover over it and we'll leave it for 45 minutes. Then we'll come back and I'll show you what you do with it then. It's like super duper Play-Doh. Are you going to pull it? One, push. You're going to take it one, push, you're going to take it another time on this side, push, pull, uh, actually pull, push, and then you're going to take it on the other side. Alright, now you put it back. So what happens is you put it in the bowl the first time around, you wait 45 minutes, you pull it four times, you wait another 45 minutes, pull it four times, and do that twice more. So then what we're going to do is choose some loaf pans. Uh, I just use glass. I've got a one loaf dish. Uh, and then the other is just a Pyrex, a round Pyrex dish. What we do is just throw some olive oil in there or melted coconut fat. So you want to try and make the, the outside like this part in here and the bottom all nice and oily. And why do we do that? So it doesn't stick. I think. Right. You can use any type of glass container, any shape, square, rectangle, oval, triangle, doesn't really matter. Yeah, because they make lots of triangle glass dishes, don't they? We've seen lots of those. No, <laughs> not one at all. <laughs> okay. Just putting it out there. Just putting it out there. Should you just pull it? Okay. Very tricky. And it looks like when you put it into the dish, it looks very small, but it rises. Yeah, and you want to make sure you get half. And then squish it in. Okay, not quite. Okay. Maybe don't be quite as violent. <laughs> so the other thing that you do is you just take a sharp knife, you just make ah. a slit on the top, and then with your round one, you just do a cross over the top, and that just lets um, steam out. What are you doing? <laughs> It'll be disgusting. It is. <laughs> and then grab a, um, a baking dish. And you're going to just fill the base of this with some boiled drinking water so that this will go at the bottom of the oven while you're making the bread and that steam will help form the bread as well. And careful Cass, it's hot. <coughs> and then we're going to put it at the bottom of the oven, which is already on and heated. The oven is preheated to 220 degrees Celsius and you put your bread in there for 10 minutes at 220. Turn it down to 180 for another 25 minutes. Splotch, watch your nose. I just use um, one of these. Uh, we just sort of stick them down the 
the sides to make sure that the bread is away from the sides. And actually it helps a lot if you let the bread cool a little bit before you try and take them out because then uh, stuff. it's contracted a bit. And you get a perfect loaf. Look at How that. easy was that? Whoa, that's delicious. Kids can make it. <laughs> I bet you can. That's true.